Hi, welcome. In this video, we will look at Microsoft Teams meetings created in Outlook and Teams channels. There seems to be some confusion around it, so let's clarify that. In this tutorial, we are using a machine running Windows 10 Pro 1909. Let us start with creating a Teams meeting in Outlook. Let's open Outlook and go to Calendars. From the menu area, select New Teams Meeting. As you can see, it populates the Teams meeting information. Let's give it a title. Invite our attendees. And select the time slot. Once I'm comfortable with that, Click on send. I'm now going to open up the Teams meet the Teams invitation and look at the meeting options. It's going to open up in a browser and ask me to sign in. Once I've done that, you get a couple of meeting options. The first one is who can bypass the lobby. I have it set to people in my organization. Always let callers bypass the lobby. I've said no. Announce when callers join or leave. I'm going to say no because that does get annoying when people keep joining and leaving. Who can present? I'm going to change that to people in my organization. And I'm going to click on save. Once that is done, let's close that window and close that window. I'm now going to join this meeting. Now, because I created the meeting, I am the organizer, I am the presenter. So I'm going to join in using my Teams desktop application. I'm going to turn off my microphone and I'm going to join now. And let's minimize that and see what it looks like from the guests view. I'm going to right click on this, copy the hyperlink, open that in a private browser and paste the link over there and try to join Teams. I'm going to say cancel. I don't want it to open you. I do not want it to open using the desktop application. I want to join on the web instead. It's now going to ask me for my name. I'm just going to put a random name and I'm going to join. Now it says someone's wait. Now it says someone in the meeting should let you in soon. As an organizer or presenter, I get that notification over here. I admit my guest. And you can see now my you can see the details of my guest. And now let's switch back to my browser as a guest. And you can see now that I'm in as a guest. So what you've noticed is that as a guest, I was not prompted to enter any credentials. I signed in as a guest. All I did was enter my name, clicked on join. The presenter or organizer admitted me into the meeting room and I'm in. As a guest, I'm able to chat. I'm able to see my presenters and attendees. My sharing is disabled because that's what I set in the meeting options. And from the presenters view, I can view the chats and I can view my presenters and attendees. But as a presenter and organizer, I can share my screens and I can share my PowerPoint. Let's end that session from both ends. Now, if I open my Teams desktop application and go to the calendar option, I can see the meeting that I created using my Outlook. You can create the same meeting or a similar meeting from within the calendar app in Teams. We go to new meeting, add a title,
uh, the required attendees. Select the options, the date and the time. I'm not going to fill the add channel over here because we do not want it to be associated with any channel. The same as the previous meeting that we created using Teams in Outlook. It was not associated to any channel. And I'm going to say send. Maybe let's change the time to 7 o'clock. Say send. Now let's compare the settings. I click on the one that I created with Outlook. Comes up with all of that. Let's close that. And I created the one using the calendar app in Teams. And it looks the same. We still have meeting options. So they're pretty much the same. They're ad hoc. They're not associated, associated with any team or channel. And a guest can enter the meeting without any authorization or without entering any credentials. This is the easiest way. So sometimes when you invite external people to teams and channels, they tend to report that they have certain features missing. For example, they may not have the chat feature because it's grayed out and they're signing using their teams desktop application in such uh, situation I would recommend that they sign in using the web browser that is bypassing whatever logins that that they have set up from their school or organization and join in purely as a guest let's close this now let's create a teams meeting within the teams desktop application let's go to calendar select our time slot add a title Teams, meetings, channel, ongoing, required attendees. I'm going to select my time slot. I'm okay with that. I can select the channels that I wanted to go to. Now I only have the technology channel and the, sorry. Now I only have the technology team and I have two channels under that. It, it only shows standard channels. It does not show private channels. I'm going to select the general channel underneath it. And I'm going to say send. It's going to send a calendar invite or details to the email address that is entered in there. Let's try joining that. And see what the experience is like when you join in as a guest. Let's wait for that to get completed. Now, this is one way of creating it. The other way of creating it is by going into Teams, going into a channel. You can see now I have my technology team and I've got my general channel, coding, which is a private channel, which is shown by the padlock over here, and my other channel being Minecraft, which is again a standard channel. Let's create a Teams meeting in there. And let's click on this meet now icon. Let's click on schedule meeting. And as you can see, it's the same thing, just that this section is pre-populated. I can say send. If I go back to my calendar, see that there should be two of them that are created. Let us join the meeting that we created. This one has no title. Let's close that one. Let's create the one that we created for the email address that we had in there. Let's right click and say join online. And join. When you go back to the calendar, and see if I can copy that link and open it up as a guest that as a guest without authenticating. I'm going to copy this link, paste that, and 
say cancel because I want to open it using the web browser. I'm going to enter a name. Join now. It's going to say that I am waiting and the organizer or presenter should get a notification. I'm going to admit. Now let's go back to the guest user and see what options they have available. As you can see, the chat feature is grayed out. It says only a team member can chat. Ask the team owner to make you a member. The reason being that I, meaning I, the external user, am not a member of the team. So you can check that over here. Team and see who my members are. And that was not a member so it was a person was not authorized to access the team and channel however they had the ability to join an audio version of the meeting it's a bit confusing so let's hang that up and go back to our team and calendar. Let's hang that up over there as well. The other thing that you can do is you can create a meet now icon. You can say meet now. You're given a copy join info. Now you can copy this and paste it in a calendar and send it out to your attendees now if they're not a member of the team or the channel they only have the ability to have audio or video but they will not be able to participate in chat or share files if you want them to share files and collaborate you will need to add them as a member again that being over here let's hang this up you need to add them as a member in this case i'm going to add them as a member Now, because that's an external user, it'll only be a guest. Close that. Let's go back to our manage team. And you can see that is a guest. The user gets a notification saying, You have been added to a team in, in Microsoft Teams. So you can click on that. You can open in Teams. You can say cancel, join, use the web app instead. It asks them to sign in. Uh, it says sign in options. I don't have any of that. So I'm going to say uh, next. Sign in with the one time code. That's what we need. That one time code will be sent to me as an email. I got the code. I'm going to paste it. Sign in. And now, as a guest, I've got access to the team and the channel. Right. And so, the team's organization, I'm going to say this one's Australian. Teams. There we go. It says if you don't have an account, we'll create one for you. This is really annoying. I say next. I have to find out what password I need to set for it. Now, if you have a school or organization account with Office 365, you can use those credentials to sign in. In my case, I've got a Gmail account, so it forces me to create an account over here. I'm 
all these questions. All that gives this error message. There we go. It took a while. A few errors made me create an account. Very annoying. And I'm now in my team and channel that I was assigned to as a guest. Now let's see if I can join in to the meeting. So I've got that meeting over there. Minecraft, save meet now, save meet now. This is, an, this is an, a meeting that you're creating on the fly. And then we're going to just copy the join info and I'm going to paste that join info over here as a guest. Cancel, join the web instead. And now, as a guest, as an authenticated guest, I can chat. And if I go to my presenter or organizer view, I can see that over there. And if I go into my Teams, and if I go into my Minecraft area, I can see the same chat show up in my channel. So there we go. Now let's try adding a file. Okay, it's uploaded the file. Now in this area, you can select your file and you can delete. Let's go back to the guest view and see what that looks like. Go back to my area, go back to my chat, and go back to my teams, I can go back to my files, and there we go. I can see my the PowerPoint that was shared. I can see, let me see if I can edit, I can open that up. And I can edit it if I need to. And then I can close it. So there we go. Collaboration is best done when you're within a team and a channel. To recap, creating a meeting request with an Outlook or creating it within the team's calendar and not associating it with any team or channel allows a guest to join without authenticating and they have the ability to chat and have audio and video. This is the easiest option, the quickest option if you do not want to collaborate with your attendees or participants. The moment you want to collaborate on documents with your attendees and participants, you're better off creating a team and a channel and then creating calendars and again associating them with the team and the channel or creating a meet now or a meeting within the particular channel and then sharing that link with your attendees and participants. Please note that if you are inviting a person to a team or a channel meeting and they're not a member of the team, they will not be able to chat. The chat option will be grayed out. They'll only have audio and video options. To make them have access to the full suite of features on Teams, that is audio, video, chat, and sharing of files, you'll need to make them a member of the team and the respective channel. 
I hope this has clarified some of it. Microsoft tends to make things confusing, but hoping that in time, this product matures. If you found this video useful, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you for watching.